Hey there, Clashers! It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks for another unusual episode today. We are talking about the P.E.K.K.A. in action, and not just one, two, or even three P.E.K.K.A., but ten. You guys wanted to see it, some unusual attacking styles using ten P.E.K.K.A., and here we go, P.E.K.K.A. attacks from fail to win. And yes, unfortunately, with any from fail to win episode, that means we have to start out with a fail. And uh, this attack started out normally enough. We cleared the outside structures with a couple of P.E.K.K.A. We've brought two jump spells, creating that perfect little path right to the town hall because I didn't have room for many uh, wall breakers. Now, the clan castle has deployed, but that's okay. We brought a lightning spell. Everything is going according to plan until right here, right there. We freeze the frame. The queen has activated not just a big bomb, but a skeleton trap. And those skeletons managed to attract all of the attacking units. The king and almost all of the P.E.K.K.A. all come out to meet those skeletons, and that is it. This attack is history. All of my high damage units are now outside. A second skeleton trap springs, further distracts them. There is no chance of them returning to where the action is. The queen is all alone on the inside. She's just getting obliterated by every defense down there, and she is history. Our only hope at this point is to try to save one star try to get the 50 percent pekka clearing around the outside they've got some assistance from some miscellaneous archers here i drop my final rage spell just in hopes that we can get through enough structures right here but there is just a massive amount of damage going on the archer queen two teslas popping up and that is a pekka's worst enemy right there everybody is going to down and there is the barbarian king last and just a massive massive firefight nothing left got a 12 archers at this point and there is just absolutely no way I can get 14% there's just not enough uncovered structures skeleton traps pop out and I give up 29 trophies lost but coincidentally enough, speaking of 29 trophies, that was the massive offer that I saw on the next attack where I had brought 10 P.E.K.K.A. to the battlefield, 9 there, 1 in the clan castle, once again bringing 2 jump spells, 2 rage spells, and a lightning as well. And uh, just trying to decide where I was going to attack from here, trying to lead those P.E.K.K.A. on a path straight to the town hall, decided that 1 jump spell here placed first right on this gold mine on the outside, the second one over the wall there, leading them in right where the Barbarian King was would probably be the best way to go about it. So I went ahead and put the jump spells down first. They last for a long time, and then I just massively dropped everybody in there. Pekka, 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 King, Queen. Everybody is moving on in. They got a rage spell right away, trying to get those units in there, clear out those structures. Hopefully they're going to move towards the center. There they go. They're starting to clear their way in, and now the Pekka runs straight all the way into the inside after those Clan Castle troops. Got the last rage spell down there. Dropped the lightning spell on where I thought the Clan Castle witches were just to try to get them out of the way, and now it's just hard to tell what is going on. There was some damage to the town hall, now there's not. The P.E.K.K.A. are wandering past the town hall, and then thankfully we finally see some of the units turn around and face the town hall, start to do damage to it. Looks like they are going to manage to take it down, and there is the one star. Luckily not to lose 20 more trophies to an all P.E.K.K.A. attack. The Archer Queen, not going to be a lot of help there. She has undergone a lot of damage. It uh, turns out I actually left a P.E.K.K.A. behind. Uh, so I've got a P.E.K.K.A. and a few Archers. We're going to go ahead and drop them here. Try to get that last star, but we've got actually Teslas strategically placed around the outside. Again, P.E.K.K.A.'s worst enemy, so it is not going to happen. Can't get the second star. Have to settle with a one star eh, semi-victory with 10 P.E.K.K.A. But undaunted, I went back out into battle with my 10 P.E.K.K.A. again, trying to find a village I could beat, and I found this one here. Uh, I don't know if this is either the most extreme southern teaser you've ever seen, or just I'm too lazy to lay my walls out in any sort of pattern at all. Uh, there does seem to be some sort of arrangement there to the defenses in the center. You can see the mortars, the wizard towers, the archer towers as well. But I just decided to go in here and uh, drop down all of my P.E.K.K.A., kind of spread them out like I would wizards in a go wipe attack, let them go, send them in there and I'm just going to try to strategically drop the rage spells where I can affect the most P.E.K.K.A. This is almost like dropping rage spells for balloons in that Quattro La Valunia. You just wait to see where they're going and try to catch the largest group you can. So there they've done a lot of damage. We're already up to about 20% and there's the last rage spell. I only had two. Wish I had one more rage spell instead of a jump spell but it's going to have to do. 
Pekka are working their way through some of those stronger defenses now. We've got the king and the queen in there behind as well. Now I drop this freeze spell and it only grabs one of the Teslas there. So the other one keeps working on those Pekka, takes one of the Pekka down pretty quickly. But we do get the first star and now we can see that there are a lot of structures down. Pekka and the heroes at the bottom of your screen really working their way through a lot of these structures. So it's starting to look pretty good here. Uh, we just have those Infernos and all of those Teslas to deal with up at the top, but we haven't used the King and the Queen's special abilities yet. We've got several P.E.K.K.A. up and still at full health. We're waiting very patiently for them to get through these last structures. I dropped my last Wizards and Archers there. Hopefully they can move in and support those units as they start to move in for the final assault. Headed for the Town Hall now. 81% damage. There is the Barbarian King's Iron Fist. We still haven't activated the Queen's special ability. We're going to wait on that as long as we possibly can. Lots of damage now incoming to the P.E.K.K.A. from those Teslas, but are they going to have enough to get through and get to that Town Hall? There goes the King working on the Town Hall, ignoring all of those strings from those multi-targeting infernos and there the town hall goes down the last tesla goes down as well finally popping the queen's special ability the very last of the defensive structures go down and now we've got 99 percent one camp way out here to the left to get rid of they're going to walk over there finish it off and it is going to be a three-star victory for deca pekka power so there you have it. What do you think? Is it the next big thing? 10 P.E.K.K.A. attacks out there? I don't think so. Not for half a million elixir and not a very effective attack either. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Please don't ask me to do that again. Check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Let me know what else you guys would like to see in a future episode. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks. Nice waste of elixir, Galidon. I could have bought an expo with what you wasted in this episode.